So we had a bit of a test today. This is my first. You can't really see that very well. They're a little bit out of balance. Um, a lot more out of balance than I'd like, but it's not the end of the world for now. A few things, I've actually hooked up, well, where are they? Those cables there, they go up the door. And they go down there. And then they hook in into my PCM60X, which is, for the very first time, charging these banks to full voltage. Now that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a bad thing because the BMS that's sitting there I may or may not have connected it incorrectly and blew it up. Nah, fuck it, I did blow it up and I'm really pissed off. <laughs> but, um, so I've got, a, I've ordered another couple of BMSs. That's purely my fault. I can't even be pissed off with anybody except for myself. So that is now at 4.2 volts, 29.4 volts. And I'm gonna let it, um, charge off until tomorrow and let me take you back to the computer and show you the settings that I used. Okay so as you can see I am using the PCM60X to charge. Um, I've got the settings as customized. You can choose AGM or flooded it doesn't have a lithium-ion um, setting. However um, this here is 24 volt however these settings here are 12 volt for some reason I don't know. So I've set it to 14.72 volts, which is slightly above 29.4 uh, volts, but it balances out to be 24. I think it's just an inconsistency with the actual voltage and stuff. So I've got both battery absorbs and charge voltage and battery flotate and charge voltage to 14.72 volts, which is 29.44 volts at, in 24 volts. And then I've got battery CV, which is constant voltage charge time, cranked up. And I've just turned that back down again. I had that over the 500 minutes before. So that means it always delivers 29.44 uh, volts. And then it just um, slowly drops the amps down. So if I close that one down, have a look here. See the PV input voltage and it's 4.34 in the afternoon. So we've got no sun all, almost. It's still 29.4 volts, doing 1.3 amps at 38 watts. So this could drop down a little bit and so this is just controlled by the MPPT contained within the PCM60X charge controller by MPP Solar. So that is what I'm doing there. That is how I'm charging it and that charge of course is for the live feed on Saturday afternoon. So live chat Saturday afternoon. It will probably be four or five hours long uh, just given that the batteries will be 4.2 volts rather than what we have last time uh, 3.9 volts or something like that so it'll be a little bit longer of a test I'm pretty keen to actually get this done it's it's gonna be um, bloody fantastic thermal camera so I'm gonna be able to work out where the heat is I'm gonna be able to quash some myths or confirm them I'm up for being proven wrong as I've always said uh, what else Join in, ask some questions. If you've got specific tests you want me to do, I'm going to be sitting there bored. I may as well be doing them. So log in, ask a question, have a chat, and I'll see you all there. Cheers.